Hello my loves and welcome to our full moon video here on the Raising Wellness channel. If you are coming back to this channel after a our new moon cycle, coming back for the full moon, then welcome back. I'm so glad to have you tuning into both the new and the full moon. If it's your first time here, welcome to Raising Wellness. My name is Shelby and I do a lot on this channel to help you with your meditation and mindfulness journey. So I want to get into this new or this full moon, excuse me, in Scorpio and just give you a quick blast of the energy that's happening around this time. I don't want to get too in depth. I really want to have this be a time for you to reflect on what's surfacing rather than load you up with tons of information. I want you to truly go within and and see what is being illuminated at this time. That's what a full moon is all about. It's bringing to the surface things that need to be seen at this time. That's why a lot of emotional activity seems to be heightened around this time. Um, areas of your life that maybe have been kind of simmering in the background tend to be heightened at this time. So just be on the lookout for those things. If you are coming to this video looking for a full moon meditation, I have created that meditation and it is in a separate link down below for you guys. I also have been adding these types of meditations to our uh, page on Insight Timer, which I will link down below as well. It's a great app to use for daily meditations and we have the channel on there for Raising Wellness as well so you can download them, listen to these meditations on the go in your car or when you're on the plane you can download them and listen to them without Wi-Fi. Alright, so I want to make this very brief for you guys. We have our full moon in Scorpio, which is in direct opposition with the sun, which is in Taurus. So there's these very big differences between Taurus and Scorpio. Scorpio is a lot about um, change, transformation, death, death of the self, the old self, right? And then Taurus is this more grounded, stable energy that's really about breathing new life into things. It's kind of like birth, birth and death. So these are some really big topics here that this full moon is highlighting for us. So what I want you to do is just to take time in reflection, take time in reflecting things in your life that maybe you have feel, been feeling that they are coming to an end and that there's this time of birth and, and growth possibly happening in the new direction. And this full moon is really it's trying to get you to trust in the mystery, trust in your intuition. If you remember the new moon at the beginning of this month was all about leaning in to your intuition, leaning into that mystery of life and the opportunities that are coming towards you as long as you stay grounded in knowing that beauty and opportunities, the ones that you want, the ones that you're seeking to bring into your life are coming to you. So the new moon was really all about planting those seeds and then this full moon is the time of harvest, the time of bringing things to the surface so that you can make those new moon intentions occur and happen. So this full moon is really about telling you to lean in to the mystery and just dive full in and be ready for that change, that transformation, that death of the old and bring in the new. So like I said in the beginning of this video, you really want to spend time in reflection through meditation, just to gain a higher perspective on yourself. That's why I don't want to cloud your judgment, your intuition here with a ton of information. Spend time with you, time in reflection, and see what's truly coming up. There is um, the topic of our meditation that I said is linked down below, is really about spending time in reflection and getting truthful and honest with yourself. What is here for you to look at? What have you been maybe running away from or distracting yourself from or covering up with work or school or kids or, or whatever you cover up things with? You know, it's really time for you to get down, get to your source, find those seeds that have been planted that are ready and here to be shown to you so that you can make the change, make the transformation, and dive into the mystery knowing that you are always cared for and knowing that the universe has your back and that the beauty is always surrounding you. The universe is giving you opportunities, but 
sometimes we, we cloud ourselves. We stop ourselves from seeing our truth and moving through what we need to move through to get out to the other side and enjoy the opportunities that are aligning with our truth. And the planet that rules Scorpio is Pluto, and Pluto is in a sextile right now, along with the full moon. And Pluto is that planet of deep inner reflection, wanting to have power and control by knowing the self. So it was really a time of reflection and being with the feelings, those feelings that are being illuminated right now. And we will learn a lot of how to do that through the meditation that's linked down below. And it really, Pluto is, is really wanting you to embrace the mystery, step into it. So if there's anything that you can get from this full moon is to really sit with yourself, reflect, find those deeper needs and wants and desires that maybe you have been neglecting and allow yourself to change and transform by listening to the intuition, listening to what you gather from the meditation and reflection and, and going forth with whatever you are learning from yourself. I just wanna give you a little quick background into me and how I'm working with this energy. I have for a long time been doing a lot of self-care, a lot of self-work, a lot of things that I teach you guys on this channel that have worked incredible for me, have helped me move through the different phases of my healing from depression and, and suicidal thoughts and guilt and shame, and it's brought me into this beautiful place where I can now teach, but this full moon is really showing me the ups and downs, how drastic they are in my daily life, in my, in my mindset, in my mindscape. So... I sat with this meditation that is linked down below and listened to it and really was a, found the time and space to talk to myself and be like, Shelby, you can't do this all on your own. You know, you need professional support. You need someone who has maybe more information than you can find online or that um, can support you in a different sort of way and that is okay. It is okay to reach out and get that support because it's just helping me deeper know myself and and deepen my practice with knowing myself and then being able to serve in a more appropriate or um, efficient capacity. And I think it's really exciting the the things that you can find when you do these types of meditation, like the one linked down below, that are helping you face not only face your fears but feel them be with them when we try so hard to neglect them or cover them up or repress them. So with all of that being said, you guys, I hope that you enjoy this full moon. You can learn from my experience, learn from the meditation link down below, learn from just the energy of this time with the full moon in Scorpio. I'm sending you all so much love and I cannot wait to see you in our tarot card reading for the month of April, May, June and uh, on the 1st of June. So sending you guys so much love, so many full moon blessings. If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Maybe hit that subscribe button just so I know that you guys are enjoying these videos and that they are helping you and supporting you in your own journey. I'll see you next time.